benefits of investment in the property. The city would never be in a position where it would write off one of its fines for the inspection of a property in, in this way. Also, um, uh, with respect to low-income homeowners who have lost properties, the city doesn't want to see anyone lose a property, residentially or commercially, in the city. And we have a, we have a process where we uh, have city employees work with the court system to help people with payment arrangements on their homes uh, so that no one necessarily uh, has to lose a property in that process. We've many, made many reforms uh, to the foreclosure process recently that should result in even fewer low-income property owners uh, losing homes in the city of Buffalo. Again, with respect to this project, these funds are not funds that require um, allowances for um, people who can't pay the rents that have been established by the project. We have many projects and many properties in very close proximity <coughs> to where this property is located that um, provide benefits and incentives uh, for people who are low income or moderate income. Uh, from the very extensive presentation uh, that we received in the policy committee meeting uh, just last week, uh, it is clear that this project is one that is very close to the margin of getting completed, uh, where the property, where these developers run the risk of, of taking a loss on the development of the property. I know no one laments that, no one is going to cry for them taking a loss, but people are in business uh, to make a profit when they develop a property. We should help them. Uh, I, I did hear a question uh, also in the audience about, you know, having community-based entities do develop, and that, that happens frequently as well. One notable recent example of that is the PUSH organization. Now, it's not an easy process. The PUSH organization, over a period of several years, learn the requirements for participating in these various government programs that exist, and they are developing multiple units of housing for low-income individuals on the west side of Buffalo. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I just want to make a few comments. First of all, I've been working with uh, Operation PUSH, and they uh, Operation Green going on. They targeted <laughs> Uh, Operation number 1217, which is the village of Kenmore, for improvements in the sustainability of the housing and the energy efficiency of the housing, uh, working with the National Fuel Corporation in order to do that. Those are terrific programs. This building is owned by the Elliott Development Corporation. Now, Mrs. Grant, you raised a question that troubled me for a long time as a member of Congress. All our programs, you know, were for low and moderate income, and we couldn't bring about a mix, and you couldn't bring anybody in who made more than a certain amount. And I always thought it would be terrific if we could have a mix. And I was able to make an amendment to one bill with respect to one project in the town of Tonawanda, and uh, it was the development of a portion of what had been Mount St. Mary's School. And we took half of that, and I had to get a law passed that said for this project you could have certain numbers set aside for market rate, a certain number set aside for, for low and moderate income individuals, with strong preference for those who were impaired. But it took it took a, a law in order to make that happen. Um, what we're trying to do, as I understand it, according to the mayor and the county executive in the city of Buffalo, is try to bring some individuals into the city who can't afford market rate. And according to the developers, there is that. Now, one of the objections that I heard and read in the public hearing transcript was, well, you know, these are millionaires that you're helping. 
unfortunately, uh, poor people, for the most part, do not have the wherewithal to develop. Uh, and poor people don't have the, uh, the assets uh, to give collateral to the banks to obtain a loan. Uh, the banks do want collateral. And so if we're going to be dealing with developers, for the most part, we're going to be dealing with individuals who have a successful track record. And that means that we will be giving them tax incentives to do projects for the public good. Speaking of the public good. We have some terrific organizations in this area. Operation Bush is one of them. Uh, and the uh, Coalition of Economic Justice is another. The Partnership of the Public Good is another. And the, uh, they're the type of individuals and groups who like to work with you and reason together uh, with you. And we look forward to working much more closely with those organizations in the future than we have in the past. If people want to sit down and reason together, we can do that. Um, <coughs> trust, then that's totally that different. Are where, there any other questions where, where or comments? Is, where is Mr. Mr. County, County Executive, County uh, County Executive Home Cards. Civic Responsibility.